and now we're going to show you how to make Big Joe and Annie's famous sexy meatloaf. As you can see here, we've already pre-portioned everything for this recipe. And my lovely assistant and wife Annie is simply going to tell me what to put in the bowl and what to do with it. I'm used to that. So Annie, tell me what to do. Okay, first thing, one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, quarter cup of chopped onion, eighth a cup of cornmeal, a fourth a cup of quick cooking oatmeal, one cup dried breadcrumbs, one and a half teaspoons of salt and a tablespoon of white sugar. One half cup of tomato juice. One half cup of water. One tablespoon of barbecue sauce. I like a tablespoon to you. Looks great. One tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. dash of sexy liquid smoke. It's smoky. And one egg beaten. Then you're going to mix it all together, form it into a football shaped loaf and place it on the shallow baking dish. Now I'm going to show you how to make the sauce that goes on top of the sexy meatloaf. So Annie, what do we need? One tablespoon of brown sugar, a fourth a cup of ketchup, two teaspoons of mustard. I'm going to guesstimate on this one a little bit. One, two. And two dashes of that sexy liquid smoke. She likes the liquid smoke. Mix it all together so it's smooth and set it aside. So Joe, I'm sure the audience really wants to know why this meatloaf is so darn sexy. The secret? Bacon. Bacon makes everything better. It makes everything sexy. And that is the secret to this phenomenal meatloaf recipe. All right, you can do this just all about any way you want to, but what I like to do is start by just gently putting a little bit underneath the side like that. Awesome. Now, the last step is to put the sauce that we made earlier across the top. So there it is. Look at that puppy. It's ready to go in the oven. That is one damn sexy meatloaf. So, we've got a preheated oven at 350. We're just going to slide this bad boy in there. And we're going to let it cook for about 60 minutes. It may take 60 to 70. We'll start at 60, see what it looks like, and go from there. Now, I'm going to go take a nap. We'll be back in about an hour. All right, you may have noticed the temperature went up to 425. A little trick. If you have a convection oven, take the last 10 to 15 minutes of your baking time, crank up the oven to 425 and put it on convection, and that will give the bacon a little bit more crispiness. Let's see what it looks like. Damn sexy meatloaf! And now, the moment of truth. 